right? We, we're not having that. We want to build a community, you know, forever, you know? Kids when we went, period. Welcome back, everybody, to an episode of AM University. I'm your host, Antoine Miller. Um, what episode are we on, Wayne? 16. 16. You always good at math, Wayne. You always good at math. <laughs> How you doing today, brother? I'm very good. I'm good. Got my brothers here. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. Always a pleasure to see you. Butter. Yes, sir. Butter. Yes, we know sir. you as butter. We just going to keep it at that. We ain't got to give no governments out. How you living, homie? I'm living good, man. I can't complain. Glad to have life. you on. Glad to have you on. Glad, glad to be have on. you on. Glad to be on with y'all. Long time coming. Long time coming. All right, let's just let's 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 get right into it. Um, so as y'all all know, I coach high school basketball. Um, <laughs> high school. <laughs> so because it's it's funny how we just come back to how we was as kids, right? Like if you get in these type of predicaments, like as coaches and like older dudes, like. It just goes in reverse like how you was as a kid so right. like these high school kids think that uh every bit of uh level as far as talent and let's just keep it at the game of basketball is the same mm. right everybody is everybody is the same like just like when you go out and, and, you, and if you got a court your back court or you you playing your three on three with your same six friends every day right the whole world <laughs> it <laughs> plays just like <laughs> them six friends and the talent level is the same right, right? until you play against some some real, some real talent right right some real talent you know so um i want to talk about talent. that today some real good talent mm -hmm. you know like to me it's like 12 tiers mm -hmm. again I'm, i want i want to i want to hear your opinion on that but for me it's like 12 tiers and these kids think it's one and like that's a real problem for me that's a, that's a real can I ask you a question? What's your, what's, your, what's your twelve tiers? What like put it in like a, a like a name for it? Yeah, just um, a name for it. Just something simple. I mean, I I, I can't name twelve, but I, I could say it's different <laughs> type of talent than normal talent. Okay, I but get it, I get it. it's levels of that different type of talent. Right. You know, you might have a street ball kid that's just a street ball kid you might a per have a person that's just good enough to be all conference in new jersey right you might have a person that's just good enough to be third team all south jersey you might have a person that's good enough to be a division one basketball player right. you might have a person that's good enough to play in the NJAC division three right. you might have an nba legit player right you might have a superstar player you might have a superstar system player mm. Right, <laughs> you might you might have an MVP candidate. You might have a Hall of Famer. Like it's so many different so many tiers, tiers of talent. Right. But I think what in lies the problem is uh, kids in, at the high school level. They just think it's universally the same. Mm -hmm. If I work hard, I bust my tail. I could be just as good as them. Nah. Right. Don't so I want to start off with asking both of y'all. Um, if if this is if if this is an answer, when was the first time that y'all knew that it was different levels of talent? And if that's not an answer, then tell me it's not. I, but you tell me, y'all tell me I, when it's first time. I go first on that one. I mean, once I realized it was different levels of talent is when I got to college. Okay, tell me about it. Because when I got to college, it was like they was bigger, they was stronger, they was faster. I just knew at that time. Cause I was one of the fastest dudes around, so I knew at my time I couldn't rely on my speed no more. Cause it wasn't just easy just getting around them and everything. Hmm. Cause when we when we used to play, I think our error made me better because of I want to say heart, but you can't really teach heart. Mm -mm. You can't really teach heart. You can't teach. I don't heart. think so. You can't teach heart at all. But by us being in the hood and playing how we play. I think in, in our era, to me, was the best era of basketball of all times. That it was just so many, when we played street ball, it was just so many people out there that was good. Hmm. But then once once I got to college, I realized that. So wait, let me, let me backtrack for a second. And before mm -hmm. you go, Wayne, let me backtrack for a second. Because you said, you said our era. So, mm -hmm. okay, so 
in, in a way, you could talk about levels in, in that type of way mm-hmm. because you did go to Collinswood. Yeah. And it is it, it is it is what it is. That was group one basketball. Right, right, right. And then you started playing in, you know, with group three and group four talent right. in the hood. Right. So like backtrack to that for a second, because for y'all don't know that the people that's listening that's not from New Jersey, and, and it is what it is. We always view group one basketball yeah, like do as, middle, as middle yeah, school. Yeah, yeah, it, like it, it was middle school basketball. Right, right, right. Right? And like I understand. when we was heavyweights, right? So right. But you was talented enough to play in group three and group four, play with all the big schools, whatever like that. But you didn't. So when you started playing on the streets, how how did that make you feel? Like Tr- as far as truthfully, it 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 was more. It, it was easy. Mm, that's a big word. It was easy in in, in, in Collinswood, coming coming playing with y'all on the streets. It it wasn't hard. It was like all right, this is the level I need to be at. Hmm. But. Going to Collinswood, and then after like playing y'all, it was like, all right, this is fucking easy. Mm. But I am gonna say our era was different because like Group One, that's when I think like all groups was good. Because I think the only bad group they had was like probably like Defer or whatever. But you had Russell Carter and them in Paulsboro. You had uh. Who else you had? <laughs> yeah, 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 a lot. Yeah, a lot. You said a lot. Like, that's but, all but, you said was Russell Carter. <laughs> but but I'm saying like you had Russell Carter. You no, know, you had right. you had Hatfield. You had you had you had a lot. That ain't talent though. They they got a they got a great system. But it was it was it was it was good basketball though. You feel what I'm saying? So to get back to your question, it was playing with y'all. It was it was easy playing the college with. So that level, that's where like I figured like all right, I belong playing with y'all. Instead of playing the college. Because you played against bombs. I, yeah, I played against bombs. You played against a lot of bombs. <laughs> and then after playing with y'all and then going to college, it was like, all right, everybody good around the, around the way, but you got good and then you got great mm-hmm. in college. Like, because like a lot of dudes that was in college should be in the NBA and didn't make it. And I went to school out in California and that shit was hard. Mm-hmm. I ain't gonna lie to you, it was hard. What you think, Wayne? <clears throat> When did the first time you know that it was different levels of talent in the game of basketball? It was definitely in college, because, you know, high school, we was the baseline of other high school teams, you know. Teams yeah, yeah. figured out how tough they was, and they played against the high. So I never really experienced that wall in high school. But in college, it's a whole different ball game. Like my boy Cottrell said, it's different out there. You, you That late, though? Yeah, it happened my freshman year of college though, yeah. down in Florida A&M. I, yeah. and I thought I was at a a low Division One school, and it was going to be peaches. But fine, you gotta remember though. You gotta remember. Like, I keep saying, I'm gonna keep running it back. Our era was different, so it was like you was you already kind of used to like playing with good people already. Mm-hmm. So you know, you kind of you kind of got the experience already. Like, all right, well, I'm playing with all these good people. I'm doing my thing. I belong here. Then when you get, so I, I it wasn't too much hard for us in in high school. What about even like seeing like Wag grow up though? Because I I'm, I'm now I say that because like when I was when when I was fourteen, like mm-hmm. I know this is a weird way of thinking. I thought it was a Wag in every city. You know what I mean? Like I do it. Nah, nah, it wasn't. It yeah. wasn't true. But but it is because you gotta look that. at it, like yeah, because like you gotta look at it. that night that Wag scored what hundred yeah. points. Tj Tj four. Uh, TJ, whatever, four, yeah, yeah, score, yeah, like, TJ Ford. Well, he scored like 110. He's a problem. Yeah, but you gotta look. It, it's every. It, it is a way, but me personally watching Wag grow, I thought he was the best basketball player I ever seen. You from day one. From day yeah, one. Yeah, that. It, it ain't the until I, I think I started getting life. like just smarter at 16, 17. Like, but I went. I won't go back to what you said. You said college when we went to AAU. Yeah. I for the first time I started like. Oh, you started realizing. You're like it's it was watching J.R. Smith like shoot from half court and like yeah. Glenn yeah. Baby Davis. He 300 pounds, but he moved like he 170. Like Rond- Rondo and and Dwight Howard with some shoulders I've never seen in my life. Mm-hmm. Like on a set of a human being. Like I was like, wait, hold on. Well, well since you put it in that perspective, I, I agree with you because like when I went to AAU and then I went to the Atlantic Ten Camp, it, it was definitely different niggas there that was like. Crazy nice, and it was hard. 
<laughs> it was hard, bro. I'm telling you, it was so hard. But for somebody to hold their own, I did. I did pretty decent. Yeah. But yeah. I, you're right. It is it, like them. Them. That's when it start really creeping up to like knowing that it's different out there. And then the college is like, all right, it's really different. Did you really dunk on Zubat? Ooh, yeah, good question. Yeah, so the I, I heard some. <laughs> I heard some things. Listen, I, I heard some things. I'm gonna heard, keep it hundred. I heard some things. Go ahead, I'm listening. To Brian, you. Brian, Brian Zubek. Let him, let him yeah. tell. Oh, all right, go ahead. I'm, I'm sorry. Keep it hundred being with you, right? Uh huh. I swear to God, on everything I love, everything I love, on my sister's grave, bro. Right? I'm I'm so mad that we that we down by like three to them. Mm-hmm. We losing. I'm like, man, like we about to lose these chumps again. We was we was up there winning now. Yeah, do back doing whatever he doing. So I throw the ball. I'm I'm already at half court. I throw the ball to Joe. Mm-hmm. So Joey is about to shoot the three. He I know he's gonna miss it because he meant he had an all game. My bad, y'all laid it down. But I know he's about to miss it. So I just start sprinting. I'm mad. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to like, all right, I'm gonna get the rebound. That's the thing I know. I, I ain't gonna lie. Close my eyes as I'm jumping up in the air. You sound like the uh, Urkel was going pretty <laughs> slow out and the dude, dude saw a I close up. my eyes as I'm going up and I'm opening. I'm just like, oh shit. Yeah. I'm like up here. I'm up here. <laughs> I said, fuck it, I'm gonna try it. This shit goes in. Okay. But then they call it they call it all because uh uh Dempsey fouled him. So it was like a no like it's like you pushed him into it. So they, they push them in and you dunking on them. So then yeah, like, like so he like so like, so like Dempsey like if you ever see the picture like you see Dempsey like kind of like pushing him in there and then like I'm just like wait what you oh, just yeah. say? No, <laughs> <laughs> so them that dunk didn't count two points to a thousand. It didn't count two points to my. I ain't have a thousand. I had not eight. I had not eight. Yeah. Could have just Justin and Joey and Brandon. Yeah. You nah, gotta, it's just, bro, just first of all, it's just Justin and Joe. You gotta let this go, bro. But let me let me explain something about the thousand. Mm-hmm. Can I explain something about the thousand? Please go, go crazy, bro. About, about the thousand, bro. At, at that at that time, that mind, I didn't have a mind frame to like score. Hmm. It was only 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 time I had the mind frame to score was playing against y'all because I wanted to show y'all that I can fuck with y'all. Why, butter? Why didn't you have a mind frame to score? Talk in, to one in the in, uh, in high school. To me, it was all about winning. Hmm. hmm. I'm just keeping it a bean with you. Hmm. Out there playing against y'all, all right, fuck that. I want to go at them because they always talking about group one. Now I got to show them I can score too. Hmm. But in, in high school, I had the mind, I, I turned it all to where it's like, you know what? I can get everybody involved, keep everybody happy. It's all about winning. Hmm. Fuck the thousand. Hmm. I got the assist record. Look at I'm that. keeping that. But... Nine eight. I didn't even really know I had nine eighty till the end of the season, bro. I didn't even care. Hmm. Something else. So why why you care so much about your thousand, bro? Why I care? So much about <laughs> why you care so much about thousand? Taz blew my mind when he said what he said about that. What did he say? It, about? It, 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 it just like so the thousand was really going to change things mm. in your life. Yeah. So you, so, you, so you think? Yeah. Why so do you, you think, think? it's gonna change then? I mean, you would have been on the wall. Been on the wall. You'd been on the wall. I would have kept the tradition going. The illustrious Cannon oh, High. Yeah, um, yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Wait, yo, can, can I ask something? What you got against? What you got against Jamar, bro? <laughs> like, like, I, I think y'all need to play one on one so you get this frustration. <laughs> I think <laughs> the little sixty points that I didn't get. <laughs> I'm saying wait, was, from, wait. was from a lot of look offs. Was from a lot of. Skip. But Todd said it. He wasn't a point guard. Think about he it. Shamar was just playing guard, point guard. But it's not against him. It wasn't his. It wasn't his. Uh, we have it, a it system. It wasn't his responsibility to get me involved. Oh, it was no, wait, other wait, wait, wait. I can't agree. Responsibility with that. to get me involved. Nah, I can't. Agree. I can't agree. But with the that. people that's, that's, that's that responsibility it was is saying isolate, isolate the whole game. What else he gonna do? But, but, but bro, score? you 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 as a you you as a uh, like y'all saying I can't say that because I know my team was so stacked, but I still got the nine thirty six. Yeah, that's so sixty because because you was a good player. But yeah. but sixty points that something went on in the mix that sixty points like damn sixty a lot of things, and I think you you're you're not you're not really putting it into. It, it was a lot more than him not giving you the basketball. It it was like a lot more coaching wise. Yeah. I, I think I think when I scored. 
when I scored like my my scored my best games, everybody else scored points too. But if my boy Mari scored, Mari had forty, and the next person to have twelve, and that would be me. And we we'll win sometime, and we might lose sometime. But I think when I had my good games, it would be <laughs> Wayne, it'd be Wayne thirty, Shamari twenty five, Foster seventeen, Cass ten. Da 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 da. Okay. Go out. Every, okay. Everybody morale up and everything. Uh, let, let's let's make it let's make it really simplistic. All right. I think we would have beat Wilson my senior year too. If we would have. We played. lost to Wilson. Yeah, we lost to Wilson. Ooh, and we went in half time. Samaj, Samaj, LB, LB Lil Bear, and Samaj. Hussein, and Lemire Bennett. But well, Samaj is a monster, though. That's a balanced team. And LB, yeah, and LB. They had Carl Carl L- you gotta look at it like they this. They had a bad two point guard. But listen, Lemire and Lemire, that's looking to get LB. And but listen, that's you why I said that's a balanced LB's team. LB's you, Samaj is so, Samaj. So you saying everything that that I'm trying to tell you? It, but on paper we looked great. I knew we wasn't good. <laughs> the people that wasn't playing, I knew we wasn't wait, good. Wait, who was y'all starting five? Dwight Cass and yeah. I love you, Cass. But you just learned how to play basketball a year prior. So you got Cass. You, you were just six. You just grew to six. Eight. Oh, the older brother. Yeah, yeah Dwight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Dwight. You, just, okay. you just grew to six eight. Kevin Payton from Payton. Australia. He was tough. He, no, he wasn't. He 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 was athletic and he could shoot. I think Kevin. He could tough. never create his own shot. It was what it was. Foster solid, Foster. Byron solid, um, Wayne Shamar. Okay, ain't nobody else play. <laughs> yeah, that that was it. Yeah, yeah. Wilson was balanced. Yeah, but Wilson my point, my, my point being is, it wasn't his fault. Again, I say this all the time. Did you ever play in the system in high school? No. No. Well, some more year. Okay. All right. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> Nate Plummer was shooting from half court, bro. Well, oh, you talking about after that two point I'm talking about when we went ten and zero before that when the team. Oh no, no, you still didn't play in that system. What was it? Then? You you had solid people on the court that understood basketball. Me, Foster, Ricky. Byron, Ricky. Right. It ain't. We didn't care who scored. Right. You, you, that's <laughs> we best. didn't care who it, scored. Yeah, because you know what looks good is that that state championship. That's and that's real basketball. Your thousand points ain't on me. But I'm glad you said. I'm glad you say. I'm glad you say that because that's that's a mindset of a lot of people. Right. A lot of people. Like it's really going to change your life or something like that, and it's not. It's good to have on your resume. No, it's not. No, it's not. Who cares? It it is a little bit, but then at the end of the day, them wins is what what counts. You You just want to walk in the school and see your name up there. Great. All right. Great. All right. Great. You on the. You on. You on the. You on a on on a joint with thirty seven other jokers. Awesome. So what? That's what you got against me? I mean, not when you Whatever. Shamar, when you pass you the ball. <laughs> when you could have got just. Your... I don't even think it's him per se. <laughs> I just think he was uh, just in that spot. Like, I don't even think it was him per se. Or what? You just gotta look at it like he was athletic. He was tough. He was good. So. But... He just wasn't like a real point guard. So listen Not here, guessing. listen here. Do, so knowing what y'all know now, do y'all think y'all could go back and um, tweak a few things? Yeah, and, and and your outcome of your you know the basketball career that you had could have been better. Knowing what you know now as an adult, or you couldn't change anything, you know because Man, knowing what you know, I know, what knowing what I know now, I would definitely go back. I would be in the gym more. I would definitely like IQ would be definitely more better than what it was, um, and just knowing a lot of things about basketball now, like I would definitely go back and definitely would change a lot of things that that I done did. But you think you you think you could have changed your game and elevated it to yeah. a different level, knowing I, what you know now? Yeah, like it's like really I didn't really start learning how to really kind of shoot till like college. I couldn't shoot for shit in high school. All I was doing was just going 100 miles an hour, passing the ball, and doing layups. Knowing that what I know now, like a, a point guard, a solid point guard, take take Glenn, mm. solid point guard, be, probably the best, one of the best point guards in South Jersey I've seen. He had everything. He had a jump shot. Whew. He could pass. He, he was, was fast. He had, he had dribble. Glenn at Penn Salkin was a monster. His vision was crazy. If I had all that, imagine if you played with Glenn Wayne. You ever think about that? You played with Glenn, you would definitely had more than a thousand points. Ooh. Mm, but not. Nah, I don't want to diverge. <laughs> yeah. If you could go back, besides having Glenn as your point guard, <laughs> do you, you think you could have did anything differently 
to, you know, for your basketball. <laughs> like, <laughs> I think. <laughs> take a drink, bro. Take a drink, bro. <laughs> I think um, if I can go back and do stuff, I'll just have better relationships with people. Okay. Okay. As far as I hope your coaches. No, nah, my teammates. He was a bad teammate. Cameron High was clicks. It was it was it was mm-hmm. clicks, clicks, and then Shamar. Mhm. Mhm. Yeah, damn, you're right. I yeah, mean, that, it yeah, was like that. that. That's pretty dope. I mean, because you need a good relationship to be on that. the court. I would have changed that. I would have nipped that in the bud and changed that. I didn't do it. So who was your who was your click? This guy. Yeah. What, what, what year? Because it, it, we changed, you know. But even talking about senior year, senior. I quit. Um, yeah, I quit. <laughs> Cedric, <laughs> to say you quit. Like it, Cedric quit. Foster had his. He was doing his own thing. Uh, Cass always did his own thing. He was, he was smart. Cass was a smart guy. Um, Peyton was Australia guy. Probably, honestly, probably Murray. I guess. Murray was tough. Like that's who I would hang with, like come, walking into practice or go to earnings or something. Like, but I should it should have been me and Shamari. We should have been friends. We should have been good friends, and we would have been not to fuck with. Because when Bo- boys and girls first opened up, boys and girls club, mm-hmm. that's when Shamari first came back from Memphis. We tore that shit up. We tore that league up. They come by like, bring the ball up the court on us. We was like doing traps and shit. I'm like, damn, will we play together before or some shit? And. I don't know. It just, do, you, do you feel like it always was different when, like y'all, when, when like even with us, like all of us, like it was just different, like playing street ball than it was playing organized ball. I I thought Allen Iverson I used to play against y'all. Y'all the reason why I think I'm Allen Iverson. <laughs> this is the well, on the street. Cause, yeah, because <laughs> in the street I played totally different than I played under the whistle. I believe, like, bro, I would say honestly, Ray, more Ray Allen. Ray Allen. Mm. What and he got game. <laughs> yeah, I played different. Yeah, cause you, cause you got what did you think about? Go ahead. Wait, wait, wait. What, what, what did you think about when we? I don't know when you met Butter and the other Coddles were jokers. I, I don't know if it was at the same time. I don't know, but we all knew at the same time that they had four thousand point scores on one team, and we like, wait, hold on. How that happened? Yeah. First Boy. of all, how that happened. Second of all. Yo, we got to go see <laughs> these jokes. We got to go <laughs> play, bro. That's what made bro. me have to go, have to go see this. And we was looking around like... <laughs> and that, that, that kind of... Y'all kind of triggered us because we never played group one schools. So that was us playing group one schools, right. seeing 4,000-point jokers. You had the Dempsey brothers. Did Kenny score 1,000? Uh, nah, Kenny ain't scored. It seemed like everybody scored 1,000. You got Joey yeah. Soto. Yeah. You had the dude with the glasses. What was uh, it, Lance? Uh, Lance, yeah. Lance. Lance. I thought you scored. Everybody, I, I'm like, we got hired her. They, they, I said, they must be. They must be nice because we ain't, nobody scored a thousand with us because we was always loaded, but that's all we saw. Right. Like, so what you think when you when we came out there and we saw all the little man was like. I was like, shout out to Butter. <laughs> <laughs> I think he made the right choice. Right, yeah, right. Yeah. But, you know, right. I, I couldn't do it. But that's I, a deeper, but that's yeah. that's a little deeper thought. That's, you you right. Our time in the ball just opened up. We could have went down Linda with all mm-hmm. of us. We could have just did something else. Did something else. That good that one. I, mean, I needed that purple and gold in my life, though. Okay. Man, that, I, I wanted to go there so bad, and I wanted to go to, I could have went Daryl Wilson. I wanted to go there so bad just to play. Nah, you made the right choice. Yeah. And I'm going to tell you why, because of what Wayne just said. Rest in peace, Scoot. I still think to this day, Scooter Barker, Jamal Barker, yeah, was good. the smartest dude I've mm. ever met in high school basketball in my life. And I'll tell you why. In this game. Scoot was at Wilson. Yeah. Scoot averaged four points a game, bro. Four okay. points a game. Right. He went to Hatton Heights his senior year. <laughs> oh, he you was know what he averaged? He was at like 30 20, 20, to 26 points a oh, game. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Because I remember, we had, we had to play hat. We had to play hat. Yeah. Yeah. And me and I got Wayne, a picture of me and me and, me and Scoot going to Me and Wayne went to a game, and I didn't even really care about the actual game. Time, I, I I was astonished by I, all I thought about was he is the smartest guy ever. It was smart. and we being dummies just wanted to stay at Camden High because it's Camden High. Like so, what I'm saying to you is you wouldn't have had a great experience there. Right. Most right. likely, I I don't know. Maybe you would have. Who, who knows what would have happened? The coach would have liked you or something like that. It's a roll of the dice though. Right. At Camden High, it's a roll of the dice, literally. Right. 
Right. You got starting fives literally on the bench that could win South Jersey. But as long squad. as you on cam the high, it's like, uh, whatever. Right. Like, I just got to do it. Do you know what it meant to wear black jeans and have a little purple short showing right here? <laughs> that get you a girl. <laughs> Yo, you can walk in the Chinese store, right, and order your food, and you see girls standing on the. Uh, so let me ask you this: Was it worth it? What the girl part or the uh, just the basketball? Hey, you can tell me. You can the tell me the, the whole history the whole of, of, of being at Canada High. I mean, the was it worth thing, it? If I could go back and tweak something, I just have better relationships with my teammates. That's the only thing. I, 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 I ain't asked you, ask you that. I ain't asked you that. I said, it. was the whole experience worth it? Yeah, it was worth it. Why? I love purple and gold. Yeah. It was worth it. I mean, I, 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 I can kind of agree with you. It was worth it going to Conzo. I had a great experience. I had fun. I done, I done played ball all, all over the place. And and, and then even and shot the uh, wag. Like, I remember one one time him, him come to pick me up a lot just to go play at the racquetball center. That made you feel good. That made you feel morale. good. Like, damn. I got one of the greatest players I ever seen play ball come pick me up to go, go uh, play with him and shit. Imagine. I was like, man, so that must seem something about my game. I'm, I guess I'm right, 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 right. right. But, so I must have been trash. Right. Yeah, he probably was. Yeah, but I, was trash. <laughs> was like, nah, I feel me. I wasn't good enough. <laughs> but now nah, it, it was pretty cool. Like him, him, dad, that kind of picked me up going to Rack Ball Center and then playing with like dudes that's like real good. It was like it just got my game to a whole another level. But I wish I'd have went earlier. In, in my high school career because then I would have knew how to do more things instead of like my senior year and then like you said I wish I would have learned what I know now about the game back then because who knows where it would have took right me. right but you were just winging it yeah I yeah was just yeah it. yeah you were just winging it I, I knew in college too back to the point where I where I seen that wall where I seen it was a different level the boy Gene Paul Gonzalez from Mount Clare he showed me that like this D three shit ain't ain't peaches and cream. Like it's it's NBA ready players right here we playing again. We seen a couple. And yeah, and I was about to say he ain't the only one, but the person that stood out to me was him. He had to go seventeen for seventeen. He had to go for seventeen for seventeen and did whatever he wanted with a knee brace on. So so do y'all think that whatever division it is, like D one, no, D two, D three, y'all think nope. that is like that's what made me say, okay. Uh, so what wait, 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 no, no, wait, do it matter where you go or yeah. do it matter as far as levels of talent? Let's do both. Let's go where you go first and do do talent. Well, first of all, it's hard to ask that in New Jersey because, the, again, the NJAC in Division Three is the nice. toughest conference in America. You're right. By far, You're Division right. Three. However, You're right. this this what people, kids and parents get misconstrued. You If you play Division Three basketball... <laughs> You can play. Like, it is so hard to play college basketball. It is. Period. It is. I hate and lie. again, so <clears throat> you go from Division Three, it's even harder to play Division Two. Mm -hmm. It's even harder to play Division One. Mm -hmm. And then you talk about the NBA, it's like, you have to be so special. To make it to the and you still might not make it. You still might not make it. That's or, what I'm trying to say. You, do, you might not get in. You might just right. be a like, split. And that's what I'm saying. I played around dudes in California and when I went to school out there, dudes was nice, like NBA ready, and they ain't make it. That's how you know it's tough. So let me go here real quick. So let me go here with this. It's a great segue. So uh, y'all y'all got a kid that come up to y'all right now. Um that's inspiring to go to the league or just inspiring to go division one. What do y'all say to that kid? Inspiring to go Division One. Make basketball your priority. Everything else is secondary. Except school. Education, priority, and then basketball, very much second. Like 1A, 1B. Like, like school work, homework, basketball. School work, homework, basketball. Do that until you make it to the NBA, and then do whatever you want, kid. Or Division One, then do whatever you want. But make basketball your priority because it's a job. College, right. they say it's school, but it's school and it's a job. Like, they pay for you to come there and do something. If you don't do nothing, they will send you back home and give it to somebody else next year. Right. You're right. That's all right. Tell them and, like that. and I agree with you. You got to make, you got to eat, sleep, breathe, live that shit. And, like, you know, education is first because you can't go nowhere without that. So, I agree with you 110%.
Man, y'all ain't saying it. Y'all ain't even saying the right thing. <laughs> what you tell them? Forget everything y'all just said. Y'all, y'all just said the politically correct answers, bro. Mm. See, I'm a coach. I know he about it, to say. Oh, there sorry. you go. I, I, I know coach. he about to say. I, I, I like no, and, 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 I'm a, and I'm a coach that's, I'm really blunt, you know. And you going to bring some ratios people, and stuff? Huh? You going to bring up the statistics? The statistics yeah, that too. So but you would yeah. tell a kid that he ain't going to never You already know what I'm going to say. <laughs> I already, I already listen, know. listen, listen right here. I'm, I'm A kid come up to me and say that to me, mm -hmm. I'm going to say, you have to have a special talent. Look at this camera. You're going to have to have a special talent in order to play Division One. Or go to the NBA. Right. If you don't, if you don't, if you don't have a special talent in a couple categories, you don't have to be special at five and six categories. You gotta be special in one or two. Mm -hmm. Special mm -hmm. and separate yourself from the field. If you don't have that, you cannot play Division One basketball. You damn sure can't play in the NBA. It will never happen. That's what I'm gonna tell the kid. And a lot of kids is going to be upset with me for doing that. And a lot of parents is even going to get yeah, more upset with me but, doing but that. But then stuff. again, I can't be mad at you because, like, we come from an era where we're we tough, where, where it's tough. Like, our coaches was like that. You know what I'm saying? Our coaches would kept it 100 being with us. Like, because me coaching, when I was coaching my little, my little kids uh, at Sterling, it was more so that I had a couple parents come up to me like, oh, you know, you can't really say that it's a develop, development stage yes, and all can. that. Nope. Yes, I can because yes, can. I came from the era where, like, yo, this is how it is. It, because you can't I, be so. I look at it as two. I look at a two-way street, right? Either you're going to get upset with what I'm saying, and you're going to do the things that need to be done, or you just, right. you know, you just can't do it. And, and, but either way, it's it's fine. That's that's the thing that people need to realize. It's fine. Yo, going to the NBA is harder than. Winning the lottery. Jesus Christ, being a rapper is <laughs> something, bro. Winning, it, it, yeah, winning, winning the lottery. lottery is hard, bro. It is really hard. Man, you got to be real You got to have a special type of talent. Like, yeah, we got to... You go, you go back to WAG, bro. Like, a person like that isn't normal. At all. He isn't normal as far as his basketball skill. And we seeing people like Rick Brunson at the Coliseum. Yeah. Let, let's even say Donovan McNabb. Donovan McNabb, yeah. Look how good he was yeah. in college. Like... And these are, we can't do nothing with them right. as regular civilians, <laughs> right? We just want to play basketball and we want to work hard at it. But basketball don't work that way. That basketball don't work that way. I, I truly believe football, you can, you can work hard. You can, be, you can work really hard and you can use your IQ. And I think you can make an NFL football team. Right. I, I truly believe that. You don't have to be physically gifted. Basketball, you have to be physically superior than Ninety nine percent of the world. Football, make it to the NFL, or just make it. To I'm the talking NFL. about the NFL. I, I, well, I, I, I think I, it's eleven spots. Yeah, and then basketball is only five. It's Fifty three man roster. I, I think yeah. you could work your way. You People work did it. Your way in the roster. Vince Papali, like Philadelphia. I think you could do that. I don't think you can. And, and, and schematics. Mm -hmm. Like fo a, a football coach can put a a Wayne Smalls in a scheme in the NFL, and, and he could be successful. Right. Wayne Smalls don't have to go out there and just freestyle. Like Wayne Smalls had to do in high school, he could get put in a scheme and he could be successful and make a lot of money. Basketball in the NBA, no. You you got you got to be special at something, either a shooter, either something. You have to be special at. Cause you gotta look at it too. Like a lot of the ones that are special that make it, they ain't the man no more. Cause you got somebody on the team that probably. Is if, if if you want to be have a career. Yeah. If, if you, you want to have, have a career, career understand right. you're not the man you're no not more. The man and, no more. And, and, and find your place. You got, you got, no, yeah, you got to find your place in the NBA. Like you, like he said, you got to have something special. Because if not, you very rarely get dudes that's special. And Juan was one of them. He was definitely one of them. He was one of them. So overall, yeah, man, find your niche. You know, whether it's high school, college, whatever, find your niche and. Go to the tippity top of that niche. And whatever your ceiling is, it's okay. We talk about this all the time. It's okay. Right. Play out your basketball career because basketball is for the majority of the world. At all. <laughs> Look at us. <laughs> we was good. <laughs> we, we, we all had hoop dreams. We, we all know at some point in time, all, at, some, at some point in time, to, all three of us thought we was going to the NBA got to, bro. at some point in time. To. I had articles and everything about me. <laughs> like, I thought I was going. Like, <laughs> I thought I was there. <laughs> it's it's, it's okay. It happens. Man. It's okay.
It's okay. He was meant to do something else in this world. The majority of the world wasn't meant to play basketball. I'm potting now. All right. <laughs> you be the best podcaster. <laughs> All American podcast. I always want to talk about Shamar. <laughs> right. Leave Shamar alone. Leave <laughs> Shamar alone, man. This guy.